This is an Arizona's Family News Update. Hey, good evening everyone. I'm Whitney Clark and here are the latest stories we are following from the Arizona's Family Newsroom this Sunday. Two people died from hypothermia Saturday morning after their canoe flipped over in Lake Pleasant. According to the Maricopa County Sheriff's Office, official, that's, that's according to the Maricopa County Sheriff's Office. Officials with Game and Fish say it is important to know the water temperature in addition to what the temperature is outside as well. One person has died and several others are hurt after a crash in Scottsdale early Sunday morning. It happened near McKillops and Miller Roads. Police say that there were six people total in the two cars. The intersection reopened after being shut down for six hours. Over the last two years, we've had issues with, with parts in all of our assembly plants in, in my region, whether it be the Canadian border, the Mexican border. Protesters have been removed from the Ambassador Bridge on the U.S.-Canadian border. Protesters blocked the road for six days over vaccine mandates and other COVID-related restrictions. The protests caused issues in the supply chain and impacted the economies of both countries. President Biden spoke with the Ukrainian president early Sunday morning and assured him that the U.S. response would be swift and decisive should Russia invade Ukraine. U.S. officials warn an invasion could happen at any moment. More sunshine and warmth. Valentine's Day, Monday. Highs back in the upper 70s, lower 80s, valley-wide. Winds will start to pick up on Tuesday. That's coming ahead of that area of trough, low pressure system. That's going to be responsible for major temperature plunge. Look at those temperatures. We're going from the 80s, 60s by Wednesday with slight rain chances. Breezy conditions will hang on through Thursday. Some cooler air as well. Lower 70s to close the work and school week. Already into next weekend, though, that sun's going to be back out in full force. We're already pushing nearly 80 degrees again next weekend for the next several nights with lows in the 40s to the 50s. Lauren, thank you so much. For updates on more stories, you can download the Arizona's Family News app and check out our app on your Roku device. I'm Winnie Clark. Have a great night.